Okay, so we got a good day today. It's uh, 20 degrees Celsius outside, maybe even a little warmer. It's uh, pretty unusual for October. And very little wind. So today we're going to be uh, jumping in and putting a new poly on the greenhouse. Now, I'm not taking the old one off this time. I'm going right over top. So, the main reason I'm doing this is because the stuff that's on there is 10 years old and I'm starting to leak a fair amount. Okay, and pull this up for me because I got to get up top and I got to pull it up. So what I'm going to do is get up there and reach out as far as I can. And you kind of need to fly up there and hand me the end of it. Okay, can you flip that roll this way? Sure can. Yep, that's it. Perfect. That's good. You can lay it down. You don't have to hold it up. I just got to get it so that I get the corner. Alright. Okay. I'm just packing the corner down with nails right now. Okay. Roofing nails. Just to hold it in place before I actually start to do that strapping. Yeah, this year, uh, the main reason I didn't take the old poly off is because uh, it gives me a, a little bit more uh, insulation for the winter. Because I'm planning on uh, running my greenhouse uh, all winter this year, or at least I'm going to try to. Uh, last year I ran it right till the middle of February, but uh, it was starting to burn an awful lot of wood, so I just kind of gave up for, I think it was like five weeks, and then I restarted. But this year I'm not going to have a problem with wood after the hurricane because uh, there's a couple of the steel poles that's up there got bent really bad. <laughs> it's taken a little bit of uh, finesse and a little bit of extra work to try and uh, get the poly on straight. I don't think I can, but I'm going to try my best to see what I can get done. But uh, I don't think it's going to go on straight. I don't think there's any way because of the... <laughs> See this one's bent up about oh six or eight inches higher than what it normally is. So what I'm trying to do is to pull that, but I gotta be careful I don't pull the ladder off to get it semi tight so I can nail it down. Not exactly easy to do. Yeah, I figured I'd check my gun before I uh, got up there and tried to use it. It was out of nails. <laughs> Never fails. Oh, All right, let's try this again. See, I don't like hanging on to my poly like that because what it does is it causes it to uh, cause wrinkles. But right now I'm not going to have much of a choice because of the, the bend in the steel poles. I'm going to 
still it still works fine. It's that's not a problem. It just don't look as good. Yes, I'm putting extra nails in because I don't want the the wind blowing this off. <sighs> You hear that? That's my boar over there picking on the sow. I think I'm going to call it quits today. I'm going to get these straps on the rest of that poly. I think I'm going to call it quits. Up and down the ladder and stretching. and I'm getting tired. And I don't want to take the chance of falling through the poly. So. And I still have more wood i got to do today. So I think I'll finish that up. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we got half of the greenhouse done today but you guys get the gist of what we're doing uh it was a lot harder doing it this way than it was the first time i did it because i was able to go in between uh, the steel piping i used to do one section at a time but now i can't get in between the piping because there's another two layers of poly underneath that it's the, the ceilings inside and the old one that down there got tore up so but we're getting it. Uh, it's kind of, it worked out pretty good. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. It sure helped uh, this uh, video out. And consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And thanks for watching. <laughs>